Hello there, this is Nisi Freeman. Um, just a short video to show you how to navigate around this website. So you have come to the Abacus Club eClassroom. This is the online platform that has been used by all our students to complete their online homework. First of all, you should have received uh, your username and password. If you haven't, you can create your own new account here. Now, remember, um, children who have received username and password from me will have um, all the password and username in lower cases, so remember that. So put your username in and password, then log in. Once you log in, you'll be brought into your own site where you're going to see that your name will appear at the top and then you'll see all the courses that you've been enrolled into. For example, in this case, this girl has been enrolled into five different courses. So let's take, for example, one of the courses. You can either access your courses by clicking on the blue link here, or you can go to this here, my courses here, which will display exactly the same thing. So it'll be faster here. So let's see if we click on this Flamingo one, for example. Now, once you click on it, you're going to be taken into your course page. This is your course page now. You'll be able to see who is who are the participants in there. Okay, these are the participants. And you'll be able to see all the topics here. So if you click on that little blue icon again, you're going to be taken to your course page. Within Flamingo One Book, you have got 13 topics to complete. Ideally, you should complete one topic every week. So each topic is displayed here. You'll have SCORM packages are the online packages that you need to complete. So if there, it says four, you've got four online lessons to complete. Now, as you're completing them, you'll see the progress. If you've got four out of four, means you've completed all of them. You can also click on this blue link on the topic one. It'll take you to all the lessons you need to do, you see? If you hover, hover your um, mouse over this, you'll see a hand there. That means you can click on it and the lesson will appear. Okay, for example, in this case, once you've completed a lesson, there will be a blue tick in the box here. If you haven't completed them, then there won't be any tick here, and you will not be able to go to the next topic. Then when you click on the next topic, nothing might appear. So in this case, to start a lesson, you click on this, on the blue link, the orange boxes. Okay, you can also access all this lesson on your tablet too. And you just have to type in... Uh, the answer and then click next there and then to go on to the next one you need to click on in there and then once you finish you can actually click submit all here don't forget to click submit all now once you complete click submit all then it will show you either you pass or not okay you can do attempt this lesson as many times as you like because it will just take the higher score now, if you're ever not sure what you've done, you can always go to course administration on the left and go to grades and it will show you everything that you've done or what you have missed. For example, in this case, this girl has missed this lesson. Look, it's 0% and that didn't pass either. So if you've got that, you need to redo them and pass them. And to go back out to the course page, just click on that. Okay. And don't forget, there is an Anzam booklet here, which you can click, which will show you what you need to do for that particular course. Not every course will have this. This is only for certain children. Right, so that's the end of a quick navigation and taking you around how to navigate around the website. And don't forget to log up. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.